In this video, we'll be sharing some healthy habit hacks because you know, we can all use a pleasant reminder. What healthy means from one person to another can vary. So these are just some habits that I've personally incorporated into my routine that help me feel like I'm taking care of my mind, my body, my spirit, you know, all those feel good vibes. Now, if you're interested, we've also created a free PDF. You can get it in the description box below. And this is for anybody who feels that they might need some guidance because some of these habits might feel new to them. There's also some tips in there that we aren't gonna be exploring in this video. So be sure to get your copy if you're interested. All right, let's dive in. Whether you're a morning person or not, having a morning routine for whenever you do wake up can really help to sediment those healthy habits. No right or wrong here, just find what feels most natural and achievable to you. My morning routine includes habits like drinking enough fluids, having a wholesome and filling breakfast, getting in some exercise or light stretching, and then getting some fresh air. We've already done a video on morning routines, so I'll link that for you here to watch in case you're interested. Feeling down and frustrated about stuff can happen to the best of us, but sometimes we can get caught in a cycle of self-defeating negativity that can really build a toxic environment in our minds, in our relationships, or maybe in the way that we view our self-worth. So try to adopt a positive mindset whenever you can, and I know that that's easier said than done. So if you need a little bit of a trick or an exercise, here's one that might help. Get an elastic band or bracelet and switch it from one wrist to the other each time you find yourself complaining, criticizing, gossiping, or anything else that's creating a negative mind space. By taking part in this exercise for a few days, you'll snap yourself out of the cycle of negative thinking, which you can then use as a prompt to switch your mindset to a positive one instead. Quite often, when people want to create new habits, they focus on the things that they want to no longer do. But instead, what we want to do is focus more of our attention to the things that we want to add more of into our lives. So instead of thinking, I need to stop eating junk food, the thought might now become, I'd like to start eating some more fruit or something to that effect. No one likes being told that they're going to be deprived of something, but everybody likes knowing that they can have more of something. So use this little hack to shift your mindset into making the desired change a welcoming activity instead. So to build on the previous point, we're focusing more on those things that we want to add more of into our lives, right? But at the same time, we want to make sure we're not restricting the things that might be deemed less healthy. Because health, in my opinion, is about balance. So for example, enjoying that bag of chips on movie night is not something to feel guilty about. We focus on eating well most of the time and we allow indulgences on occasion as well. And most importantly, we allow ourselves to enjoy them. You probably knew this one was coming. It's all about stocking up and preparing meals at home whenever you can. For a video on pantry essentials, I'll link it for you below, but making sure that you have the right food on hand makes for more wholesome snack choices and healthier meal prep. So enjoy that meal out every once in a while, but nothing can beat the nutritional value of a wholesome home-cooked meal. Sometimes making healthy choices doesn't have to mean a huge overhaul in your habits. It can just be a simple substitution of products that you're already using. Take for example cleaning products and makeup. For the last few months I've been using makeup from 100% Pure, a company who's transitioning to becoming 100% vegan and I want to thank them for sponsoring this video because their product is something I truly believe in. Not only is this makeup made with only natural plant-based ingredients and pigmented using fruit dyes, but it's also cruelty free which is part of making healthy choices for me as well. I used to think that making the substitution to vegan makeup meant that I had to sacrifice on quality, but that's just really not the case. I mean, I used this mascara, eyeshadow, and lipstick throughout our trip to Indonesia, and it held up incredibly well despite the heat and humidity. Now, another way to use more natural products might be using simple Castile soap and water as your go-to cleaning product instead of chemical cleaning solutions. I'm also a fan of using microfiber cloths for efficient cleaning in place of using paper towels. All of these choices are better not only for our immediate health, of course, but also for the environment. So I'll leave a link to each of them in the description box below in case you're interested in trying them out as well. Decluttering I view as being healthy in two different ways. For one, I feel that when I have a tidy home, I also have a clear mind. 
I feel that I can be more productive and I feel I can also give myself permission to relax and unwind in this little oasis I've created. But another way I find it to be healthy is that it encourages me to buy less. Otherwise, I'm just adding to the clutter all over again. We can all feel anxious, angry, stressed, or overwhelmed from time to time. So let's use the power of our breath to help ground ourselves. Take just a moment to close your eyes, put your hands on your belly, and feel the rising and falling of the abdomen. Taking this moment for yourself can really help you to recollect, which then allows you to enter the situation again with a fresh mind. Visualization is an extremely powerful tool. Napoleon Hill once said, whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So create a vision board, a Pinterest board, or just lay down and close your eyes for five minutes and envision what it is you want. Now keep doing this and trust me, you're gonna make it happen. This is one of my favorites. So instead of just having a list of to-dos and crossing things off as you go along, create an accomplishments list as well. I do this all the time. I mean, recognizing all of the things that you've done that day or week or month and displaying it somewhere just really helps to keep you going. It feels good to see all the stuff that you've achieved instead of just looking ahead at the never ending pile of to do. So this little hack has helped me personally maintain my productivity and healthy habits. I didn't finish being a student when I finished school. I mean, I'd like to think that we're all students of life continuously learning, but I feel the most fulfilled when I'm actively learning. So whether this is going to my Dutch classes, listening to audiobooks, or being a nutrition geek and reading up on the latest nutrition research, whatever it is, you'll continuously enrich your life by learning something that's new and of course something that's of interest to you. Seriously, take a moment each day to do something that you love. I mean, life is too short to miss out on this one. Whether it's spending time with a loved one, taking a walk in nature, working on your creative outlet, or watching an episode of Friends, nothing is better for your health than those feel-good vibes, so maximize it whenever you can. Give something of yourself to others each day, and this helps not only them to feel good, but you too. Whether it's a kind deed, sharing a compliment, giving a smile to a total stranger, I mean, a small act of kindness can be huge to somebody who might have just really needed it that day. Now, there are many more healthy tips and hacks that can be shared, so if we've missed anything, go ahead and share that in the comment section below, or you can grab that PDF in the description box, and there are sections there for you to add your own healthy habits as well. And before you leave, if you enjoyed this video, we welcome you to also give it a thumbs up. And thanks a lot for watching. Pick up Lime signing off. We'll see you in the next video.